No, I, I started writing sci-fi. So I, similar to Penny, had, had started writing lots of things. I looked at my bookshelves, which were all Agatha Christie and Kathy Rikes and Jeffrey Deaver and Val McDermott. So you, you're getting the picture here. And I thought, why am I not writing crime novels? And and so, yeah, and then here we are. The first crime novel I wrote is, is sitting on the table over there. It's my first published novel. So clearly, crime was, was the thing for me. Crime, crime does, does crime pay. Does pay. <laughs> Not that much, but it does. Since I've become an author, I've got in touch with a lot of other um, disabled and chronically ill people who uh, who are authors as well. And amongst them, there's been a real fear about writing disabled characters because they're worried that editors and publishers will think that it's not something to be included in fiction because a couple of people have been told that it's not relatable, it's depressing, people don't want to read about it. Well, how do they know? But that was, I was having a walk with, with my husband and, you know, and being being the sort of person I am, was thinking, yeah, this is quite sinister. There's nobody else around here. You, know, you, could, you could probably dump a body. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my husband is thankfully very supportive and, and occasionally he'll come back from, from work and say, I drove to somewhere today that I really want to show you because I think it would be a great place to commit a crime. Um, so we, yeah, so we, we go on murder drives. Um, <laughs> I'm working on my plotting now for the next two. So it's quite tricky because you can't use the tricks that you've used in the first <laughs> two in your previous novels because it would be really obvious. Uh, so I'm trying to think of some really good cliffhangers. 